11 years old, I started attending a robotics school. My mom, who chose me to put in, apparently had many intentions, but it was there that I learned the joy of programming. In the class, we learned how to code robots to make decisions on their own, to make decisions on their own based on the data from the sensors, move towards an object and chase them, trace and follow a line, do certain things in certain places, and more. The school also had a project to launch some of the students' robots to space collecting cosmic dust, and measuring environmental data. When I moved to this school, Canadian Academy, my emotion towards, my feeling towards programming and coding remained, remained the same. And I decided to join the Hack Club. Hack Club was a programming club led by the Hack Programming School held in CA. Kids Programming School Hack is a programming school for children and young adults, mainly located in the Kansai area. It may be small, but they taught various things, from JavaScript and Minecraft to building an app or a website. The club was always competitive. One day, we would race the robot to see who can go the fastest. Another day, we would have a building contest to see who can build a certain object in most quantity and speed. These classes were so fun and really exciting, except for one thing. I was lonely. Two girls out of 20 students in the robotics school and most students being boys in the hack club. In the shadow of joy, I had some sadness that there were so few girls. This wasn't just me, however. When I decided to look into the internet to see how it is like in the other parts of the world, when I when I decided to see how it is like in the other parts of the world, it was obvious that there was a gender gap in programming. 79% of all computer programmers are male. SNBC states that men own 91% of the employee and founder equity, leaving women a scant 9%. As you see, there is a gender gap in technology. Of course, one cause could be that more men, more men and less women are interested in technology. I asked the middle school female students if they had any interest in technology, and the majority of answer was no. Even those who had interested even those who had interest in technology, more than 75% of them couldn't take any action. I asked some of them the reason of it, and I was able to understand them. Robots didn't look really cute or fashionable, it was more of a nerdy thing, and it seemed hard just even to start learning it. However, it actually isn't. Being able to make whatever you want with a thin box is really cool. The sense of accomplishment when you finish a certain project is immeasurable. And most importantly, it's very fun. Furthermore, technology is a significant key to develop this whole world. And if we didn't have gender equality in technology, then gender equality and real life or just daily life wouldn't be achievable. For the whole world, this, for this whole earth to be genderly equal, 
women should be more for this for this whole world to be more gender equal women should participate more in technology the happy news is that i feel like things are getting better in grade six In grade 6, when I joined a convention called Tech Kids Grand Prix, one-third of the finalists were girls. One out of three judges were a woman. One out of three judges was a woman. Even though it was a boy that won the grand prize, it was really cool to see other girls. Even though it was a, even though it was a boy that won the grand prize, it was very cool to see the same age female girls being really confident and happy to themselves, even while I was really nervous in the corner of the room. In grade 7, I participated in a camp, Kids Creator Studio, and two out of four were girls. And surprisingly, more than 50% of the teachers were women. In grade 5, the gender ratio was 10%. Now, in grade 6, it went up to 33%. And last year, grade 7, it was more than 50%. So, now it's a peaceful world with more women in technology. Of course, it doesn't work that way. But still, you may think that this change has only happened around me. Well, it is true in a sense that things didn't change this much in a year or two, especially because this is only what I've seen. However, things are getting significantly better in this couple years. Now, there are, techno there are events only for women or gender minorities, such as Secondation Girls, Mind the Gap, led by Google, Simon's Leadership Conference, and more and more. Big IT companies started publishing their gender ratios inside the company, and the statistics are getting so much more better. Gender equality in technology has been significantly better but still needs more and more improvement to be 50-50. There are many online courses that are free to start learning programming, and it can be demanding as much as you want. It isn't that hard to start learning programming. Since you can choose many, since you can choose any, since you can choose your favorite ones from various classes, it would be fun. It would be really nice if anyone became interested in technology and programming. I hope that in the future, women and gender minorities would be treated as same as men. Thank you so much for listening.